Hi everyone, welcome to day 11 of Advent of Code 2023. Today I think was a lot easier than yesterday as shown by the leaderboard times. Yesterday it took people like 40 minutes to solve part two. Uh, today the 100th person took just nine minutes and 18 seconds. So today definitely a lot simpler. The video is gonna be a lot shorter, but as usual, I'm going to do my time lapse of solving the puzzles and then I'm going to explain my solution. So let's get started with the time lapse. Today was a nice little respite from the difficulties of day 10, which took so long, it was a really difficult day. Anyways, today we have to track the distance between galaxies because we're at an observatory and we need to do some astrophysics. So we are given a map as our input, which has a number of galaxies arranged in a grid. However, some of the rows are actually bigger than they seem because of cosmic expansion. So if there are any rows or columns that don't contain any galaxies, so they're all dots because galaxies are represented as pound signs, then they get expanded by a factor of two. So every single row that doesn't have any galaxies and every single column that doesn't have any galaxies are actually two or uh, two rows or two columns. So they get expanded like so. You can see this row over here that didn't have any galaxies became these two rows that don't have any galaxies. So once we expand the rows and columns in our input, what we have to do is calculate the pairwise distance between every single pair of galaxies. So in this example, we have nine galaxies, which means there are 36 pairs. For every pair of galaxies, we compute the distance between them using the Manhattan distance. So that's just the number of rows between them plus the number of columns between them. Um, yeah, that's Manhattan distance. It's like uh, walking in a grid. So once we have that for every single pair of galaxies, we add them up and that's our answer. Keeping in mind that we do have to account for the extra space that comes with the cosmic expansion effect. So here is my approach. What I did was look at every single pair of galaxies and then walk all of the rows between them. If for any of the rows between them there are, is an empty row, then we add one to the uh, row distance. If there are any empty columns when we walk through the columns, then we also add one whenever we hit one of those. So for the code specifically, first I uh, created a set of booleans for every single row so for every single row we're going to have a boolean which is true if that row is all empty and false otherwise we're going to do the same for the column so we're going to have this empty row list of booleans which is exactly n long if there's n rows and this empty call uh, list which is the same thing but for the columns now we have a distance function which computes the distance between any two coordinates inside the grid and this is going to specify the coordinates of the galaxies that we're trying to compute the distance between a and b and each of these is going to be a tuple of two integers which is the row and the column so once we have our two galaxies we're going to sort their coordinates so that's uh the row coordinates are i1 and i2 in order of uh smallest to largest and then we have j1 and j2 in order from smallest to largest as well which represent the columns for every single row between the two galaxies we're going to walk through them if there are any that are completely empty and we can tell which ones are empty using this empty row list that we computed earlier then we're going to add one an additional one to our distance in terms of rows like how many rows do we have to walk down because all of those empty rows get expanded by a factor of two so we actually need to walk one extra step for every single one of those empty rows we can do the same for the columns and then at the end we just add together the total distance we have to walk um, the end is just computing the distance between the two galaxies for every single pair of galaxies and we can do that really easily because we have this function now iterate through all the pairs add up their distances and then we have our answer so that's it for part one for part two it's a relatively short extension instead of expanding by a factor of two for every empty row and empty column we expand by a factor of one million so this is testing how generalizable your code for part one is if you actually like replace the rows and columns with a copy of two uh, for your part one, you can't practically expand by a copy, like a million copies for part two. So my solution was actually really extensible because all we have to do in this case is instead of adding one for every single empty row, um, in addition to the one we already have to walk, we add a million minus one because there are a million minus one additional steps we have to take for every single empty row or empty column. And the rest of the code remains exactly the same. As usual, my code will be in the description in the GitHub repository, which contains my code for all of days of Advent of Code. And otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And thanks for watching day 11. I'll see you tomorrow for day 12.